Hey guys, this game is called Horror Evil Residence, and it's an alpha. It's basically a Phasmophobia clone, and I'm going to go over it and show you kind of how to play it. And in the description, I'll tell you how to get into the alpha if it's something you want to try for yourself. Uh, before we get started, though, I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and subscribe, leave a like. Um, all right. As of right now, there's one level as far as i can tell there's only one level it, it, they're showing a couple other levels that don't have names yet or don't have any information yet um but i don't think those are accessible i i have tried leveling up only to level two um and somehow i lost my level when i played multiplayer uh, this game does have a multiplayer it looks like up to four players um also right now as far as i know you can only play an amateur this might change i don't know maybe if you get to level five or something something unlocks i don't, I don't know but right now all i've done is the winchester mystery house and amateur um like i said it is a phasmophobia clone basically um there are some differences obviously uh there's eight different character models which is pretty nice the character models look pretty decent um they're very you know cartoony and tropey but that it, it's fun i like them um mainly female characters which is interesting but this guy right here has cool boots so that's usually who i play as all right to get started you just come in here and you hit this button the gate closes i ha i think there is music i, I keep the music turned off um there's not a lot of in-game sounds when you have the music off. I don't know if that's going to change or not. Here's the team sanity and the individual player's sanity. Sorry, individual player's sanity. Since I'm the only player, my sanity is the only one on there. Um, here's the map. Now, Winchester map right now has two floors and has 14 rooms. This right here is where the power switch is. So the ghosts can turn off the power switch. Also, if you turn on too many lights, it can also throw a switch. First thing you're going to want to do when you get started is grab a lamp, put it on your head. And then you have one, two, I think seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven um, items, one for each of the seven deadly sins. Um, actually, before we go in, so these are the items. Um, each time that you get a confirmation on one of these items it's evidence and you bring it over here to this altar and you place it in one of the the basins here or one of the one of the slots here and it will tell you what sin that item represents and when you have all three it'll tell you the name of the demon um if you press the hamburger button on your left controller, it'll pull up the demons, the sacramentals, and the sins. So here's all the demons. Most of these demons are real demons from mythology, right? Uh, books of occult magic or different religions. I recognize almost all of them. Um, imp is not a name of a demon. It's just a type. But I don't know what any is. I don't know gain. The rest of these I, all, I recognize from different books, personally. Okay. Um, the different items. Oh, wait, here. Let's go ahead and hear real quick. Sacramentals. Okay, sorry. Before we go that, shacks. So if you look at shacks here, for instance, it'll tell you the sins. So he's gluttony, envy, and pride. So if you get gluttony, envy, and pride, you know that the demon's name is shacks. And it'll tell you he's usually active, but when it falls silence, the real danger arises. So you don't want to be quiet near shacks. Um, it seems that they have individual personality traits, kind of like in Phasmophobia, um, but I haven't really learned them that well yet. I've only basically learned the, the basic system of how the game works. I'm sure people will start playing where they do zero evidence runs and so forth just based on the knowledge of the of the demon when the game gets a little more popular. But uh, I'm certainly not at that level yet. <laughs> I've, I've barely, I've won maybe six or seven games total. Okay, the different sacramentals here, which are these items here, um, are listed out and they tell you in depth about them. And then it tells you about the different uh, sins which I haven't spent too much time looking into them, but the cool thing is the items themselves will tell you how they work. 
if you just hold them up like here. So, for instance, it says, hold the crucifix near an item touched by a demon. If the eye in the center of the crucifix opens, it's a demon of pride in the room. Now, these outside eyes will open if you just put it near something that's been moved. So, if you hear something move and you put this near it and it lights up, then you know that the, the demon was just in that room and just touched something. Um, this can be placed on the ground. And if you see footprints in it, then that's a confirmation. If the center eye on this opens, it's a confirmation. If the outside eye is open, that just means the demon's been nearby. Um, if this spins the opposite direction, then that's a, that's a confirmation. If this starts singing in the dark, so this will only activate in the dark. And if it starts singing or uh, whispering, then that's a confirmation. If the flower wilts, if you set this on a table and the flower wilts, then that's that's evidence. If this uh, heart stops beating and it starts freezing and giving off cold air, then that's evidence. And then if you spray this on a door or a window and blood splatter shows up, that's evidence. So that's what you're looking for. So I usually just pick a couple items. I like to take this one a lot because one I can just leave in there. Uh, this isn't a bad one to do either. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take these. Push open the door. Flip on. I like to flip on the light switch for the hallway because it's a big area that I have to walk through a lot. And what you're doing is you're kind of walking through and looking for any sign of a disturbance, any sign that something's been moved. If the light's on or the door's open or whatever, that could be a sign, right? This is the light I turned on, so that doesn't mean anything. But usually if there's things on the ground or things are just out of place or upside down or knocked over on their side, um, that could be a sign that maybe that's the spirit room. So the first thing you're trying to do is find the, the haunted room or the... The room where the demon hangs out. Um, closets are used to hide in. So if the spirit tries to hunt you, you can hide in the closet and hopefully it won't get you. Okay. You don't see anything on the ground. Everything looks normal. This game's definitely probably easier. Well, definitely probably. This game's easier with a group um, of people who know what they're doing uh, than it is playing solo. Because when you're solo, you kind of have to run through all the rooms and look for whatever you can find by yourself. And you lose a lot of sanity in that process. Whereas if you have four people walking around looking for weird things going on in rooms... Not only is it easier to find stuff, but also you find it faster and people's sanity doesn't drop as fast. Okay. I knocked that on the ground, so that doesn't count. Okay, that's normal. Of course, I'm going to cough here in a minute for no reason, just because I'm recording. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, open door. There it goes. I don't think the ghost was pushing the door shut. <laughs> I think it was just not, not registering right. Hey, I turned that light on, didn't I? Did I not turn the light on up here? I did turn it on up here. Oh, I turned off the switch. And I don't remember where the switch is. <clears throat> and 
my sanity's already under 85 percent i'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more items Makes me wonder if the ghost is down here. It did shut the store. I didn't shut the store. Yep, here we go. Okay, so when you see your breath like that, that's a sure sign that this is the ghost room. Those eyes are popping up. But the center thing's not popping up, so it makes me think it's probably not uh, the crucifix. I think I left everything up. I left right here. Oh, see, that froze up already. So that's a good sign. I'm going to turn this light on. Okay. So in this game, when the light, when the, when the switch gets turned off, you have to turn it off and then on again to get the, the lights to come back on. So since this froze up and we have a piece of evidence, we're going to put it on this altar. And we have greed. Okay. I'm going to do the conch last because the conch has to be done in the dark and I don't want to turn off the light yet. Hopefully we don't have to at all. Hopefully it's not the conch and we can just find all the other evidence. Okay, so the clock's going the wrong direction. I don't know if you see that, but... That's a good sign for me. What's the evidence? Looks like we're going to have to get the conch after all. We're at 77.7. .7. So that's sloth and greed. Now, you can do this right now. We can go through the list of demons uh, and find the ones that have sloth and greed. So... Sloth, that's not, sloth. there's sloth and greed. So any would be with lust. Envy would be Volak. Okay. So it's either going to be this or Envy. And I'm kind of of the opinion that since it did not shut the door again. I'm pretty sure this is it. Come on. Come on, give me some evidence. Make sure my volume's up, it is.
Come on. Oh, it withered. Okay, we're good. We're done. Okay, so because it withered, we know that it's uh, this one. Which I really thought it was going to be the conch, to be honest. Okay, so we have greed, sloth, and envy. So we have Bolak. That's our that's our demon. Okay, so let's see what we know about Volak. Volak, oops, is a master of darkness and is powerful in the absence of light, more aggressive and likely to attack in the dark. Light source can make Volak less aggressive. That's why he keeps turning off the power. Okay. And that's, I think, all we can do. We can't, uh... I don't think there's anything more. Some people said you could, like, exercise the demon. I, I don't know how you would do that. Yeah, so we just hit the button. Let's see. So we got it. So we got the demon. His name's Volak. And so I gained some experience. And we can continue. All right. So let's do one more. Um, that one didn't really attack me or anything, so it wasn't super scary. Um, I will say that the interactions of this game are a little less subtle than they are in, like, Phasmophobia, which makes them come off as just a little cheesier. Um, but for some people, I think that works better. I've had some people say that this game's scarier than Phasmophobia. I, for me, it's not. Phasmophobia actually gets me sometimes, and I don't get got very easy. Um... This game doesn't really scare me, but it still can be tense, like trying to try not to die and not knowing when you're going to get attacked out of nowhere and stuff. I mean, it definitely can be tense, but it doesn't actually frighten me. Like, it doesn't startle me in a... Okay, so we know that the ghost is right here. So I'm assuming it's just going to be the hallway. Since that's where he appeared. Okay, let's see. I like to put things right where they were, right where the guy spawned. I mean, some of the models are pretty cool. Um, Okay, we need a door. Is there a door to spray here? See, I'm not seeing my breath, so it makes me doubt that this is the right area. But the fact that he showed up right as soon as I came in the room is a little odd. See, this door is open too. I didn't think I saw my breath for a second there. Was I tripping? I guess I was tripping. Did I open this? I think I did. Okay. 
Okay, there's the breaker. Yeah, just the fact that I'm not seeing my breath makes me think that I might not have got it. But I, like I said, I don't know the game well enough to really make those calls. He appeared there, so it makes me think he's there. But at the same time, I'm not getting any reactions. The fact that he appeared downstairs probably means he's downstairs. I, I think at least that much probably is reliable. We'll drop something. I don't remember what I had in this hand, but whatever. Oh, uh, holy water. Yeah, I, I think it's just I'm seeing the bottom of my light for some reason. I'm thinking it's breath every now and then. Okay, let's see here. I play a lot of PSVR 2, so sometimes the grays of Quest just throw me off a bit. It's just not able to pull those deep blacks. Okay, I'm going to go back down there, I'm assuming. Oops. That didn't will. That's not frozen. I don't see footprints. Okay, I'm being hunted. I think. I'm probably going to die. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I don't see anything. It doesn't seem like anything's changing. He attacked right away. As soon as I came in, he started trying to scare me, but then nothing's happened since. Oh, here we go. Here's the room. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> Let's grab the rest of the stuff and move it in here. I'll turn this light on. Again, that's not a real hunt. I'm pretty sure that's not a real hunt. Okay, so this did freeze. That's a good sign. Oops. That didn't, the, the middle eye did not turn up. Okay, so we got one piece of evidence. I need the stopwatch and to move that wand. And my sanity is probably already pretty low. Yeah, I'm at 53, so that's not looking good. This one's not scared of me. It seems to be jumping right away, so it makes me think I'm probably not in a good place. This is not going to probably go the way I want it to.
Oh yeah, footprint. I saw a footprint. Very strange. Okay. Where'd the conch go? Wait a minute. We we have a conch. Okay, you know what? It just shut the door. It did just shut that door. Okay, where'd the conch go? Did we lose it somewhere? Oh, there it is. I bet you it's the conch. That's the reason why we're going to lose. Just because I didn't have it in there. Turn off the light. Shut the door. Oh well, well that's dead. But yeah, so that's pretty much the game right now. Um, I think it has potential. I do. Um, I think it'll be fun when they add some more levels and uh, with groups. You know, when people are actually playing it people to meet up with online that'll be great um but yeah tell me what you think in the comments let me know if this is something you're interested in like i said i will leave the uh the link in there for you so if you want to check it out you're more than welcome to don't forget to like and subscribe and game on guys thank you for watching